Today we're going to head up to the Poconos area, see if I can find some milk snakes, maybe some smooth greens. A little bit different than I've been doing. I've been spending a lot of time in uh, the Pine Barrens since I've had a lot of luck there. So hopefully it's a beautiful day, it's still early, we'll see if we can flip some milks. That would be nice. So let's see what we got. Pretty much where I'm going. I pretty much walked these roads. And there's a lot of culverts with a lot of rocks and just do some flipping. It's pretty much a gravel road that runs for miles. So let's see if we can come in and get ourselves something. It's still kind of chilly out. The sun isn't really out yet, so they should be under the rocks. So let's see what we got. So this is the third rock I flipped. This is no longer a bad day. Nice little ring neck. cold. Let's flip this rock back and put him back. We got thousands of rocks. Good start. Some more ring necks. These are six and seven so far. Nothing else. Let's get these guys out from here so I can put this rock down. There you go, buddy. That way. Wrong way. Take it easy. There you go. Pretty much this is what I find. These are probably in, now, the count from the ring necks are in the 20s. They love this stuff. Well, this is a treat. I just flipped this guy. Northern Red Salamander. Very big one at that. That's pretty cool. I'm going to put him back under the rock I found him under. It's getting hot out here. Well, something a little different. A ring neck. And a real pretty like a light tan with some blue in her garter snake. So that's a good sign. Let's keep flipping. See what we can get. Well, there's something different. A little Eastern Newt. Let's put this guy back. It's a nice flip. Three, four, five. So that's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve ring necks. Now I gotta get them out of there, which is gonna suck. But I'll take it. Well, I got my target species. Took about an hour. Oh, 
Nice little eastern milk. Pretty chunky too, so you must be eating good. Underneath that rock. Right there. I'm going to get some pictures and then put this guy back. He's a wiggly little fella. Look at that. Well, got what I needed. Garter snake number two, actually on the crawl, <laughs> right around here, there's my truck, let's put this guy back on the ground, let him go. Some more. Alright. I could say it wasn't a bomb. I did catch one of my target species, which was a milk snake, so I'm pretty happy about that. 20 plus ring necks and a couple garter snakes, but I could just keep flipping and flipping and flipping, so I'm gonna try a different little spot couple flip spots and then maybe some hiking and then I have an area that I can do some fishing Then I can also uh, flip while I'm walking so let's see if we can find anything else I mean it's starting to really get nice out so maybe we'll see some stuff on the crawl early stay tuned Doing some fishing, but I found three snakes already. Mostly garter snakes, though. Let's see if I can catch anything. Check this out. Ain't going in there. But maybe there's some stuff we could flip. There's a toilet, unless I need to use it. Hmm. Strange. Yeah, I'll probably end up breaking a leg if I go in there, so kind of sucks. All right, let's keep moving.
Going down in there? Yep. I hope I fall through and die. Would you stop? You're so ridiculous. People have been sleeping down here, baby. People sleeping down here? Yeah. Two guys right there. Okay. Two bums. There's pussy on the wall. Offensive. I'm offended. <laughs> Me too. There's a hypernacle over there, though. Which I've got Shh, to make my way. Don't tell anybody. I'm going over there. I actually enjoy all the graffiti. I think it's really interesting. I mean, some of it's pretty uh, ridiculous, but it's cool. It's cool. Bugs are ridiculous. All right, all right. She's filled with babies. See, now down here, see here, don't tag me. It's okay. <laughs> don't be, I know you're pissed. I know. Over here, see, they're a couple weeks behind us, maybe even a month behind us because of the weather. So most border snakes over by us, a little bit more south, they would drop their babies. Here in the open, you see her. Look how pretty she is. She's big. 
Actually, this is pretty good for them. She's like, I can't believe I got caught. Damn. I can't believe this guy pulled me out of the sticker bushes because he's a psycho. Want to see your belly? She's probably very close to giving birth. So I don't want to stress her out too much, but... Look at that. Look at that. I mean, she's very, uh... She's very, very thick. Oh, God. Surprisingly, she must not feel threatened by me. Don't she's, say it. <laughs> she's extremely, she's extremely, extremely, extremely close to giving birth. All right, let's put her back. Yeah, that's loud. First rock, the new stop. Little garter snake, checking me out. There's tons of frogs over here, so he's probably in heaven. Let's let him go. Roadside garter. Moving again, trying some different spots. It's in shed. Kind of beat up, poor guy. Well, I wanted to finish my day off with another milk snake, and I did. So, I can't complain. This one's in shed, but. Still, it's milk. So I had a good day. Didn't catch any fish, but it's okay. Still had fun. I'll probably try timbers and milk snakes next weekend. All right. Get this guy back and uh, time to head home. It's getting late.